this is what I think is going to happen in terms of future of games. Once we get to like the, the 2030s, I think companies, you know, like the Microsoft and, and PlayStation, is what they're going to have is they're going to have a, a chip, like a game, and you insert in your brain, and you're actually going to feel like you're you're in the game because the game is in your brain. You're going to feel like you are the character playing the game. I think that's what's going to happen like in the 2030s. So if I'm if I'm right um and I look back at this video <laughs> in the 2030s, don't say I didn't tell you so. I think also another thing what they could do is they could have uh the the virtual reality headset and you know by the twenty thirties, you know it's going to be very advanced graphics. It's going to be probably like probably undistinguishable from from reality and non reality. And probably what's going to happen, you, you probably wear the headset, and you either um, also get to play the character, or you get to see behind the character. You know, so I think that's what's going to happen in the twenty thirties. You know. So let's see if I'm right, you know, if when we get there and everybody looks back at my video. Oh, are you, do you think there will be YouTube in 2030s? Let's hope, I mean, there's, because if there isn't, then I guess my video wouldn't be invalid. I mean, who knows, right? Also, uh, the way that works is um, so they make little incision in the brain and they put that that chip and what it does it it like suppresses your brain functions so like you you know you are your brain's in the game you know and then when the game ends you know it resuppresses it and and you're back to normal and. Um, it's like having like nanotechnology nanobots, you know, really small, because um, back by then the twenty thirties computer processing power is gonna be so crazy, so advanced. So let's see if I'm right, and I guess you know they could use that for um, not only games, but they could use that for like just experiences in general. Maybe like instead of doing drugs, you can feel the drugs without, you know, without the negative effects. You know what I mean? Or if you want to go on a vacation, you feel like you're in it. You feel like you're in the vacation. You know, <laughs> let's see if I'm right. Um, you know, or if you're going to work, um, you, or if you want to like learn task or, or, or the job immediately, you just put one of those in and you, you just know it immediately. You know, you, you know, you know, Kung Fu, you know, your tasks, you know, your, you know, uh, drive a helicopter and you you're, you're in a meeting so i think it's probably gonna be good both ways probably they could they could have it you could use it probably with the with the chip in your brain or you could have it just have it non-invasive with a headset of some sort you know um they actually have a headset like brain bit you know you just uh you just put it on use your phone or computer and you can control drones just thinking can type by thinking, turn on the light by thinking, you know, scroll by thinking. So this this is like pre-cyborg, you know, we're getting there. <laughs> and um, and I think definitely transhumanism is gonna be a big part in the twenty thirties. No doubt about that. I mean, we're just like early right now, you know, like you can have verse verbal, you can move things with your mind from like control apps, company like control apps. So just imagine twenty thirties, right? It's gonna be crazy. I mean, uh, but then you could have like transhuman Olympus, like super sight, super strength, super arms. I mean, so cops can't fuck with you no more, you know. Um, this is what I recommend everybody. Everybody, um, always obey the law. Um, uh, but. In, in, in that sense, because if everybody's transhumanism, transhumanism, they give an equal playing field, right? Because everybody can have... 
This can create equality across the spectrum, right? And, um, you know, and if those who don't want to do it, you know, you don't have to either. But, um, prob- I would think majority would do it, you know. But, um, I think, um, I think get to a point where our body could start repairing itself, you know. Probably, I mean, yeah, unless you need to go to the hospitals, you just have a, you know, your, your, uh, your body will just repair itself, you know what I mean? You just go to transhuman clinic, get upgraded or something like that. I think that's 2030 is going to be crazy, you know. It's going to be like the whole redefining. I mean, we're going to have like, you can be able to 3D print anything. I mean, flying cars, uh, autonomous robots everywhere, autonomous taxis. And that's, that's I mean, 2030 is going to feel like you really, really are living in the future. I mean, it's going to be crazy. We have a long way to go. I mean, you know. Obviously, decade, a lot changes, even t- two decades, you know, so it's going to be crazy. It's going to be super exciting, because talk about long- longevity, boy, we can be living, we can keep on living, man. Mogul science is going to be crazy, you know. Got a long way to go to hit the 2030s, but I think that's when, so if I'm right about all this, we Everybody can check back my video and say, I told you so, but uh, if YouTube still exists, because, I mean, who knows? I mean, motherfuckers would probably be, I don't know, man, living, living like, having just, like, chips in their body and, like, be, like, zoning out and having experiences and going to other worlds. I mean, that shit's dope as hell. I mean, because, like, if you can experience... Literally, have an experience of an experience. I mean, damn, that'd be like. I mean, if you have a bad day or something or whatever, man, you just jack in. I mean, you just fucking transported to a. I mean, you can see your virtual girlfriend, your virtual friend, you could have virtual teams, you could virtual gaming. I mean, you really feel like you're fucking virtual movie. I mean,. That's going to just change the whole game. I, I mean, I think that's what has, has to happen. Because I think they'll get to a point with the consoles. I mean, they're just going to... You know, they'll keep on advancing. And don't get me wrong, it's getting more realistic. But think about a decade from now, or two decades from now. Do you really think they're going to keep on pushing console and console? I think it's going to get to a point where that technology is, is going to be like blood size samples, man. You just put... I don't know. You just choose a game from Xbox or PS5. You just put it in your head and you are in the game. I mean, you really feel like you're in the game. Your brain <laughs> is in the game. I mean, I think co- that's going to revolutionize everything. The companies for travel or whatever, whatever experience you wanted, man. You know, or or, or, or with a headset of some sort. That's going to change the game. 2030 is going to be, it's going to be the shit. It's going to be like, you're going to be living like in the movies, man. You're going to be living like in the future. Future, It's going to be crazy. I mean, we have robots everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you know, AI and technology don't stop. We're just going to keep on going and going and going like the energy buzz, Energizer Bunny, right? I mean, this is, I mean, for us, you know, I mean, I'll be living, but, you know. I don't age much, so, I mean, you don't even know, you probably, you probably, people think I'm, like, really young, and I'm actually a lot older, so, when I get older, I, I still gonna look younger, but maybe my body won't, you know, but, I mean, but then again, maybe it will, because I think we're gonna have bipartisan UBI, I mean, after Trump, or, I mean, after, I mean, yeah, I mean, 2024 and beyond, I mean, like, you know, uh, we got a whole bunch of candidates for UBI and, you know, and then you got a lot of people interested in transhumanism result in, and you, there's a lot of companies working on that. Nanotechnology, nanobots, peak up technology, you got Elon Musk with the Neuralink. And, and just think about 10 years from now, 20 years from now, it's going to be crazy, man. But crazy in a good way. Um, yeah, you're going to, I mean, you're going to live like at the future, man. All right. So let's see if I'm right. We'll look at back at this video. 
by the 